Also, before we let you go, we have to talk about your role in The Lion King. You were the voice. You sang all the music. You did a Simba. Yes. Yes, I did. And your mama, get back to this mama of yours. When the deal, I read, well, I saw the interview where they offered you $2 million. You turned it down for royalties, which proved to be the right move, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, shout shout out to my mother. Credit to my mother. Uh, Let me just say this. You know, for everybody out there, when when I disclosed that in the Vlad interview, uh, I wasn't meaning to disclose all of that. He had asked a legitimate question uh, that that actually that actually perf- that deserved a legitimate answer. Uh, so when he asked me, because you know how it is, Claudia, like you don't discuss your deals. Like yeah. after it closes, that's what it is. So um, I had never shared that information before, but. Um, Vlad had asked a very valid question and I really felt at the time it was appropriate um, to give a real answer and not coming from a standpoint of trying to like flex, but I think it's important for our people in particular in entertainment, in the entertainment industry um, to understand the concept of knowing your value, especially as it relates to uh, negotiating um, intellectual properties, things like that. Um, you know, we have a lot of great ideas as people, as a people. Uh, we are exceptionally talented in, in a lot of different ways, whether it's singing, acting, uh, athletically, the whole nine. But unfortunately, in the past, and there are some cases that still happen like that to this day, um, because we don't know our value, we get short-sighted. And, and um, we don't get the lion's share. We don't get what, we're, what we actually deserve mm-hmm. based on our contribution. And so what I wanted to, um, in hopes of sharing that story, what I wanted to get across to my people in particular is just knowing your value. And luckily for me, um, I had my mother by my side at that time that understood the business, understood contracts understood knowing your worth and your value and knowing how to negotiate accordingly based off of that, knowing how to counter respectfully uh, in an agreement and knowing when to go, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy and and, and finding that sweet spot that you're looking for to where um, you can continue to make money or where it can continue to to benefit you in the long run. So uh, my mother taught me the long game at a very early age in my life. Uh, it's a game that I still play, and I hope from that story, uh, many more of our people in particular who are entering into the business or who are in it and aspiring to do more and to get more from it, uh, hopefully they were able to take something from that because time is out of just accepting anything. Um, and time is out with just kind of playing the short game and playing from a position of just trying to have fame and stuff like that. It's so much bigger than that. And there's so much more that you can do with your gift, you know what I'm saying, if, if you just play the game right. So that's what that was about. I know it's uncomfortable to have the numbers out there, and I understand what you're saying. Like, you know, you don't want to be come off as you're flexing, but I looked at it like that's amazing because another person might not even know that that kind of money is available to them or that that's even an option. You know, we're so used to being underpaid as people of color, especially in this industry, right? That mm-hmm. when they angle something, we're like, I- I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. We even undercut each other. So for you to do that, it was very bold and very helpful because it's going to make someone else think like, I'm going to do it the way Jason Weaver did it or that opportunity. I-, I didn't even know I could even ask for that. Or, you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not. Or any, feel bad about that at all because I think that was a very powerful thing you did no no I appreciate it no and I and again I I credit my mother for that because I was like 12 13 years old at the time uh and my mother made that decision but she educated me along the way she showed me along the way and she told me specifically I remember verbatim she was like okay now you know how it goes don't ever let anybody shortchange you now you know your value now you know your worth as it relates to this in the, in the business sense of it all. So, and you know the power of negotiating based off of that knowledge of self that you have and knowing your value. So, you know, I credit her for that um, and I always will, but you know, again, it's important for us to know that whatever they throw out at you initially, they feel comfortable with doing that. 
So whatever's thrown out at you initially, and it may seem like, oh my God, that's life changing. Yes, yeah, shit. Whatever they threw out to you initially is what they can comfortably do. So don't look at it like they're doing you a favor. 